welcome back. Today my three-year-old is sick with a man cold, so I have to do a really short video, and I thought since today is focusing on Milo, I would do a video showing you how I organize our learning center. So here we go. The biggest thing about making a learning center is having these educational toys completely separate and away from the other toys. They have to be special or else no kid's gonna wanna play with them. If they're mixed in with regular toys, the pieces are gonna get lost and they're just not as fun. So here in the basket, I have, you know, sensory things, things that they can count with these little teddy bears, I spy games, some sight words, things like that. So this is just like a miscellaneous basket. Over here is where we keep the puzzles and games that are really meant for toddlers, preschools, and they're definitely educational. On the bottom I have some sorting different games here, and I collected these over the years in so many different places. Um, it really doesn't matter, I think, what you have, just that, you know, they're educational and it's like a one-on-one -on -one learning experience. I've got some little spelling games here to help with phonics and things like that. And even my seven-year-old, I play these with her as she was learning to read. She can read now, but as she was learning to read, that's what we really focused on. We have this cool little new shark game. It's Melissa and Doug and Milo loves that. And of course, Uno Moo. It's perfect for kids of all ages. I love Uno Moo. In here is where I keep all the finger puppets. I love doing finger puppets when doing like educational school circle time in our learning center. So just with fun foam, I made all of the different weather here. So we sing weather songs, we talk about the weather and we have something to sort of see. Again, at a fun foam, um, the shapes, when my son was little, he already knows the shapes now, but that was really great that he could hold it and see it. We have, you know, the five little pigs. We also do the three little pig story sometimes using finger puppets, and then we use the wolf from the Little Red Riding Hood to be the one that huffs and puffs and blows it down. All of these finger puppets were made just with regular felt. I just cut them out, some googly eyes. Oh, this is how I turn the wolf into, you know, when he's in the grandmother when we tell that story. My kids love it, they're little finger puppets, but they're just made with felt and hot glue. I mean, it's it's not, I've had them for literally probably eight years and they're holding up great. It's just some hot glue and some felt. So we have, you know, for the five little ducky songs, so it helps with counting. And there's a couple little duck songs you can do actually. And when we read the Gruffalo book, sometimes we use the finger puppets for the Gruffalo, but we also use the two mice to go with um, Little Bunny Foo Foo song. And then, you know, they have a little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest. <laughs> My kids love that. And um, they pick up the mice and they bonk them on the head and then down comes the fairy. Anyways, at the end, she turns them into the goons. We use the gruffalo for the goon. And then we have um, the five green and speckled frogs. You know, five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log. And it really, again, teaches counting. So love that. These are just, like I said, regular old finger puppets made with felt. And um, you can make some for your kids as well. And it's a great kind of addition to our learning center. In the other box is all the flashcards. And I am like a flashcard junkie with all my kids. I did flashcards when they were really little babies. We started out with the animal flashcards. I think they're baby Einstein animal flashcards. You can get them really anywhere and just teaching them their animals and their animal sounds. And then we did some sorting into, you know, bugs or farm animals and, and things like that. So those were really fun. I love these animal uh, letter flashcards because first of all, they have the cap, like the capital and the small letter is that what you call it the big letter and the small letter so what we would say is you know this is y y says yeah 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 and then flip it over and be like yeah says yak and then think of some other um y words and go on through the whole alphabet that way i started it when they were li really little just doing one letter a day and then moving on till they know the whole alphabet and the sounds that they make these are some of my favorite learning games for toddlers or preschool. And the first one, when they're really little babies, you can do a fun game. It's Pop the Pig. Um, love Pop the Pig. It counts to four, it teaches colors, main colors. Lots of fun. Uno Moo is also great because it's, it's basically Uno. So adults even enjoy it, but it's really geared towards little kids. So it's like a blue dog. You have a yellow sheep there and um, it's Uno, but it's like a, this, you know, they can hold it in their hands and it's really colorful. And I love this game. It's called, I think, ABCs. C's as being like, you know, C's in the ocean. And um, it's great for letter recognition. It has the choice of being capital board or you can do um, a lowercase board 
uppercase or lowercase, I don't know why I'm having trouble with that. And so you fish it out and if you have it, that letter, you put it on your board and the first person to have it, the whole board, wins. This really, my kids loved it and it really helped them with letter recognition. You could also go a step further, you know, they have to not only know the letter but the sound that it makes, you get the point. My kids have loved this make a match game. I've had it since Isabel was a baby and it's a hit. It's definitely, uh, my kids are too old for it now, even Milo who's three, but I'm reluctant to get rid of it. It was such a great, great, great game. And um, another great game, I mean, it doesn't have to be this game in particular, but letter recognition game. They have so many of these. We have numbers and letters. You pull something out of the bag, you add it to where, if it's on your board, when your board's full, you win. Speaking of letter recognition, just a bag of inexpensive letters. I think I paid $2 for these. It's great to help them learn to spell their name, to do the sounds like, you know, M-I-L-O, to start um, spelling small little words like C says K, -k and then A says A, ah, and then T says T. What word is this? And, um... Yeah, so basically that is our learning center. I really wanted to just show you guys, really keeping it contained in a way is how you keep it special. Let's find D, 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 it's blue. Can you find the D? It's over there. D for D, D, dog. Good, D says D, D, like dog and daddy. Let's find a O, remember O, ah. Uh, good, O says ah. Uh, and then G says G. G says G is purple. Do you see it there? G, G. G. Good. Look at what you did. You spelled D, A, G. D. D says D. D, A, G. Dog. Good boy. You spelled dog. Bye. Thank you for watching.